Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is coming under more international pressure to agree to a pathway to a two-state solution with the Palestinians. Today these calls are coming from two important places. The European Union in Brussels having a meeting of uh, foreign ministers. They together have urged Israel to accept the concept of a two-state solution as part of the post-war strategy in the Gaza Strip. This comes after Saudi Arabia's foreign minister made a similar call in TV interview. Now both of these parties are very important uh, to Israel. The European Union is one of, uh, as a bloc, is one of Israel's closest allies. It's Israel's most important uh, and biggest uh, trade partner. Saudi Arabia, meanwhile, has been offering the possibility of full normalization with Israel. That's something that has been high on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's uh, wish list uh, for several years now. The Saudis say there will be no normalization. They also say they will not contribute to the reconstruction of Gaza after the war unless Israel agrees to this concept, this pathway toward a two-state solution. Now, Netanyahu uh, has been resisting these calls. Last week, it also came from Washington, from the United States, Israel's most important ally. Netanyahu has also been resisting calls from Washington as well on the two-state solution. Uh, this is something he has always opposed. He believes it goes against Israel's own security interests. It also would risk bringing his own governing uh, uh, coalition uh, crumbling down because that coalition is dominated by hardliners who oppose Palestinian independence.